Hi guys, still in Goa and India. I thought I'd do a really quick video on pleural effusion, some of the key things to think about if you get questions or scenarios that come up with this condition in mind. So what is a pleural effusion? It's too much fluid in the pleural space. So you have your lung tissue, for example, here. You have your pleura that go around the outside and you might get too much fluid in that space called a pleural effusion. Clinically, people come with shortness of breath, they may come with pleuritic pain. Clinically, when you examine them, you get a couple of key signs. Decreased breath sounds over that affected lung, dullness to percussion, and also things like decreased tactile parameters. You may get things like mediastinal shift. If it's a particularly large effusion, you may get things like bronchial breath sounds. On the top of the effusion, there's a few others that you may get. There's a few classic ones not to forget. And you have two main types of effusion. You have transient effusions and exudate effusions. So transient effusions tend to be lower protein levels, lower LDH levels. Generally, it's your normal pleural fluid, the normal fluid that actually sits in there in the first place, but there's just too much of it. And when you think about causes, it's usually things that are outside of the lung that lead to transit effusions, things like cardiac failure, things like liver problems like cirrhosis, things like renal problems like nephrotic syndrome, for example. So that's your transient type of effusions. Then you have your exudate type of effusions, generally high levels of protein, high levels of LDH, generally thought about by um, fluid that's not normally in the lung, so extra fluid that's produce things like extra protein fluid, things like blood, for example, but something other than the normal fluid that's normally in that pleural space. Think about causes inside the lung when it comes to exudates, things like infections inside the lung, things like malignancies inside the lung, for example. So pleural effusion is too much fluid in the pleural space. Some classic findings on examination, difference between transudates and exudates, much more like this on our AKT webinars, audiobooks, and courses. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.